Hi, welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel and this video is especially to the candidates who already cleared the UGs in a assistant professor or a JRF and uh, who are going to clear. So for all these candidates, here I am going to show you one registration website from the University Grants Commission. I think most of you already know that website, but here the significance of the registering in that website, I am going to inform you guys. So if you guys are already qualified, then register. If you are, if you guys are preparing for the UG Senate uh, examination, then after clearing your examination, then you start registering in that website. Okay. So all of you know that it is official website of the University Grants Commission, right? So after entering into its official website, then go to the uh, jobs here. So click on the jobs, and then you will be directed to the different job recruitment notifications currently in the uh, UGC. And at the end of this uh, web page here, academic jobs for the net or the set or the PhD qualified candidates. Okay. So, I mean, whatever the different jobs are available for the net set or the PhD qualified candidates, those jobs will be accommodated here, but it is not practically correct. Okay. Uh, regarding that one, we will discuss separately. Anyhow, you just click on this one and then you will be directed to this web page, guys. So, where the academic jobs for net or set or PhD qualified candidates. So, it is also the UGC maintained uh, official portal itself and once after entering into here uh, you, you can register here guys okay so if you are not it registered then you can register here and then log in and then update your profile okay and coming to the set jobs I will I mean regarding the jobs uh, from this portal I will make one separate uh, video either tomorrow or day after tomorrow and uh, as if right now first you register here and after registering then your details will be reflected here so here the search and browse is there right so under the net qualified candidate so click on this one and after clicking here then you can uh, check out under the different departments so how many number of candidates are registered here so all these things will be displayed you can browse by subject also and here the all the different subjects uh, conducted by the uh, university grants commission you can check all these things and once after registering for example i am the electronic uh, science candidate okay so i registered uh, long ago so if i click on the electronic uh, science here then it will be directed to all the different net qualified candidates and in which month or which year the candidates qualified so all this data will be displayed here and uh, if i search my name here then it will be reflected so you may check down so my name is Ashwini Kumar uh, Gadige so here it is Ashwini Kumar Gadige actually two times I have written guys so for the starting I have written in December 2012 so that one is uh, reflected uh, here you may check down so role number name gender category and the subject okay and in which year and month we qualified the net exam that everything will be displayed and why I am suggesting you to register here because Whenever you applied for the assistant uh, professor or associate or professor, anything in future for any government or else the higher private institutions, if they want to check your credentials, okay, why because uh, in the application form, you will mention your role number, they will ask your role number also. So, in the application form, you will mention your role number and your name and your uh, subject category and in which year and uh, which month you qualified the net exam, you will mention. And if the institution or the university wants to check your profile whether you qualified the UGC net or not, then they can search automatically from the UGC official website. So, for the searching purpose, okay, in order to confirm your UGC net qualification purpose before submitting your UGC net certificate, okay, they can able to search your profile like this. And even though the UGC net also, they are not going to issue any type of hard copy of the certificates. They will just provide only the soft copy. So rather than submitting the soft copy, it is very much uh, essential and the most uh, effective way of representing that you qualified for the UGC net uh, examination. Okay. And here, the registration in this portal also happens, even though if you don't qualify okay but if you put that i qualified the net exam it don't accept but because at the time of registering you have to enter your role, role number right so it will automatically check whether you qualified the UGS net examination or not and if you qualified then only it will be updated here so that's why it is a hundred percent accurate information to the institutions or the universities whether you qualified the net examination or not 
So for that purpose, I am suggesting all the net qualified candidates to immediately register here in this uh, website or else this web portal by entering through the UGC official website. Okay. And how far this website will be good for the jobs purpose. Okay. So because here itself they mentioned the academic jobs. How far it is good for the jobs purpose that I will do in uh, next uh, video. Okay. In that video, we will discuss how far it, this website is beneficial uh, to search the jobs and all in the uh, higher education institutions. Okay. So hope all of you understood uh, what is the benefit of this uh, registering in this official website of the UGC. Okay, in order to reflect your uh, qualification of the either UGC net or the JRF. And in the same way, even though if you qualified for the set also, you can put and even though if you qualified for the PhD also, you can register here. Fine. So, share this information or else this video to all your uh, friends or colleagues who qualified or else who are preparing for the UGC net examination. In this way, it will be helpful. And even though if you miss the uh, certificate, even though if you miss the soft copy of the issued uh, UGC or the net issued certificate, then no problem. Even though if you miss your certificate, you can search your profile by this manner. Okay. So, thank you very much for watching the video and all the best guys.